Tax for nothing. 10. Give up. But it's all given up. It's nothing new. I'm nothing new. Ah, so there was something once. I had something once. It may be thought there was, so long as it's known there was not, never anything but giving up. But let us suppose there was not. That is to say, let us suppose there was something once, in a head, in a heart, in a hand, before all opened, emptied, shut again, and froze. This is most reassuring, after such a fright, and emboldens me to go on once again. But there is not silence. No, there is utterance. Somewhere, someone is uttering. Inanities, agreed, but is that enough? Is that enough to make sense? I see what it is. The head has fallen behind. All the rest has gone on. The head and its anus, the mouth. Or else it has gone on alone. All alone on its old prowls. Slobbering its shit and lapping its back off the lips like in the days when it fancied itself. But the heart's not in it any more, nor is the appetite what it was. So home to roost it comes among my other assets, home yet again, and no trickery involved, that old past ever new, ever ended, ever ending, with all its hidden treasures of promise for tomorrow, and of consolation for today. And I'm in good hands again, they hold my head from behind, intriguing detail, as at the hairdressers, the forefingers close my eyes, the middle fingers my nostrils, the thumbs stop up my ears, but imperfectly, to enable me to hear, but imperfectly, while the four remaining make merry with my jaws and tongue, to enable me to suffocate, but imperfectly, and to utter for my good what I must utter for my future good, well-known ditty, and in particular to observe without delay, speaking of the passing moment, that worse have been known to pass, that it will pass in time, a mere moment of respite, which but for this first aid might have proved fatal. And that one day I shall know again that I once was, and roughly who and how to go on, and speak unaided, nicely, about number one and his pale imitations. And it is possible, just, for I must not be too affirmative at this stage, it would not be in my interest that other fingers, quite a different gang, other tentacles, that's more like it, other charitable suckers, waste no more time trying to get it right, will take down my declarations so that at the close of the interminable delirium, should it ever resume, I may not be reproached with having faltered. This is awful, awful. At least there's that to be thankful for. And perhaps beside me and all around, other souls are being licked into shape. Souls swooned away or sick with overuse or because no use could be found for them, but still fit for use or fit only to be cast away, pale imitations of mine. Or has it knelt here at last for our committal to flesh, as the dead are committed to the ground, in the hour of their death at last, and at the place where they die, to keep the expenses down? Or for our reassignment, souls of the stillborn, or dead before the body, or still young in the midst of the ruins, or never come to life through incapacity, or for some other reason, or the immortal type, there must be a few of them too whose bodies were always wrong. But patience, there's a true one in pickle, among the unborn hordes, the true sepulchral body, for the living have no room for a second. No, no souls, or bodies, or birth, or life, or death. You've got to go on without any of that junk. That's all dead with words, with excess of words. They can say nothing else. They say there is nothing else that here it's that and nothing else. But they won't say it eternally. They'll find some other nonsense, no matter what. And I'll be able to go on. No, I'll be able to stop, or start, another guzzle of lies, but piping hot, 
It will last my time. It will be my time and place, my voice and silence, a voice of silence, the voice of my silence. It's with such prospects they exhort you to have patience. Whereas you are patient and calm, somehow, somewhere calm, what calm here? Ah, that's an idea. Say how calm it is here, and how fine I feel, and how silent I am. I'll start right away. I'll say what calm and silence, which nothing has ever broken, nothing will ever break, which saying I don't break, or saying I'll be saying, yes, I'll say all that tomorrow, yes, tomorrow evening, some other evening, not this evening, this evening it's too late, too late to get things right, I'll go to sleep, so that I may say, hear myself say, a little later, I've slept, he's slept, but he won't have slept, or else he's sleeping now, he'll have done nothing, nothing but go on, doing what, doing what he does, that is to say, I don't know, giving up, that's it. I'll have gone on giving up, having had nothing, not being there.